Spark, love going to her practices. She's got a lot of fun with this team as well, Christy. She does, and they're ready to get going. They're coming right at us to start the game. We've got to be ready and be tough, too. I'm ready. These two teams, Georgetown and Big East Conference play has lost more at home than they have. They need to start defending for home court. That's something that Terry Williams from White told us is paramount today. Absolutely. They need to do it by taking care of the basketball. Rutgers wants to force you to make bad decisions with the ball. Ruby Lee Wright, number three in white. Watching this team, it's Sugar Rogers, we told you about, with seven seconds back on the clock, takes the first shot of battle. And the Drew Crawford's going to battle for every rebound for the boy as ball goes Rutgers way. And if Crawford is anywhere near the ball, she's definitely going to go after it, just like that, and be on the ground fighting for it. But Sugar Rogers, she's seen about every defensive scheme that you can put together. But she's still leading the conference in scoring with 18 point nine day. Number three in red, Erica Wheeler. Four Rutgers at the top as we watch Rutgers try to move Georgetown a bit. And that's Khadija Rushkin running into a bunch of white jerseys. A little open shot from April Sykes. No good, but the rebound's grabbed from Wheeler. And then turned over. Well, a nice sequence defensively for Georgetown. They were in a 32, a 3-2 zone. Packing it in inside, but also applying pressure to the outside shooters. Crawford. No good. And what Georgetown needs to do is attack that gap. Up top, Crawford set it for the jump shot. Against that zone, that high place is a vulnerable spot. You don't have to take it all the way to the rim, but at least get your feet into the paint with the ball. Full court defense now by Georgetown. They're going to trap that first pass over half court. And open lanes, plenty of room for Kadisha Rushdan to score droppers blood. And that's how you attack. And fast the other way, that's Tia McGee. Well, that's the pace both teams want to play with. It's just a matter of who can run and finish the most. And it starts with defense. Who can apply the pressure defensively to get the ball? What a pass inside! That was pretty rushed in. For that pass inside the Sykes. They're resting just under four assists per game. Really had a great eye on that one. A laser beam down into the post, but the post made themselves available to receive that catch. And the ball on the floor covered in red jerseys is Sidney Wilson trying to find a little word. Just take a look at Rutgers and a bounce pass into the post players. That's what post players prefer to receive because they can hold the defenders off and collect the ball at the same time. When you throw it over the top, anyone can deflect it. Nicely done. Foul on Benajah Laney. Well, Laney, you know her story. Well, if you don't, we'll let you know her mother, Yolanda Laney. Played for Vivian Stringer at Cheney, and now it's come full circle. She is here being coached by the legendary C. Vivian Stringer, and she's admitted that she's pretty tough on Benaja. That's a rod daughter too, right? As well, and she says she gets nothing extra. If, if maybe I see Coach Stringer told us, if maybe I see 95% of what other people do, I see 100% of what Lainey does. Absolutely, she's also cousins with Rushton. There's some pressure as they kick it out. Ruby Lee Wright going to try to calm things down. Gives a pass to Adria Crawford. When you see a trap coming, you must back out of it. Create space. Travel called on Sidney Wilson under incredible pressure from Rutgers. Well, Coach Flanoy told us today at practice that she really wants Sidney Wilson to get better at catching and making that pivot and finishing strong inside. She's got to create that pivot foot, but you do that by having a low stance and good balance. Rush dance pass hits nothing. Georgetown ball. And we're seeing a quick pace. Rogers off the rim, rebound grab by Rush dance. And even though Sugar Rogers is able to hit that, 31% from the other end, that was a little quick, but rebounders weren't in place. They're taking a lot of shots today. And it's not bad if your rebounders are down there, but if your teammates don't know that shot's going up, then that's a one shot and done, and neither team wants that. Sugar Rogers, probably a little rough down, it looks like. Rogers, 
A lot of these shots get just air, though. Marshan grabs that ball. Just a little bit of an attitude and says it's mine. Right. They've got to continue to battle on the boards. But right now, Rutgers is showing more quickness. Khadijah Rushdown, we mentioned, 75% from the field last week. Is there any way to kind of put that in perspective how difficult that is? No, she is such an effective and efficient go-to player for Rutgers. She can play one through four positions, but she is just a steady leader. You saw her practice today directing the younger players, but not in a malicious way. For three, Rushdown doesn't go. And the battle for the rebound will stay with Rutgers. Especially late in big games, we've learned that Rushdown has been huge for this team. Well, she has. She's averaging just under nine points and two rebounds in the last four minutes of games as of late. The last three games, she's shooting 83% down the stretch, 10 for 12 from the floor for her. Oh, a grab and put back from Monique Oliver. That team would be really hit the floor hard. She's limping a little bit, trying to shake that off. Georgetown, one for six shooting today. They had some trouble kind of finding a rhythm. And you know the sugar is going to really draw a lot of defenders. That hedge comes over and the hedge stayed. Right, I got to make that pass. And right now, Sugar Rogers 0 for 3 so far in this game with all that pressure on. And she said that, you know, sometimes that box and one, that, that's a disrespectful move because other shooters can score. By Kirby Lee Wright for 2. Kirby Lee Wright at 5-3, maybe. <laughs> maybe in there. Turnover, Georgetown, they kick it back to Ruby Lee Wright. She gets it back to Sugar for 3. Still hasn't found it with a rebound grab by April Sykes, who's also struggling, by the way. Also for 3. Both teams are just trying to pull each other out in terms of defense. Another great delivery from Rushdown to Laney, cousin to cousin. Yeah, Laney is so strong. They played on the same AAU team. They have that chemistry on the court and off the court. Really, really right for three. No. Rebound grabbed by McGee. But ends up with a foot out, out of bounds. Ball going right this way. For both teams. I think they'll do a little bit better offensively in terms of their rhythm if they work the ball. At least three passes, three reverses, and then try to attack from the weak side. Make the defense work. Georgetown struggling over three from three-point range in terms of finding that long shot. Rushdown, meanwhile, already put in a few great passes. There's another one that just is inside that one from Laney. We're seeing great movement from Rutgers. They're really pitching down inside Georgetown in their 3-2 zone. Outside, hedging out all the shooters, but they're also pinching. When the ball comes down inside, it's like a piranha. Boom! That door closes, and you're not going to be able to turn and score in, in the lane at all. Great job by Georgetown. George counts being more deliberate offensively, a little more patient. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Ruby Lee Wright drives inside. Lays it in. Ruby Lee Wright against those big girls. Four points for Wright. And that's what happens when you're patient and attack from the weak side. Rush down with the ball for two. And there's Crawford grabbing the rebound.
sugar sitting down, kind of. Well, that would be the easiest rebound sugar gets all afternoon. Yeah. She's sitting right there, bulking right to her. We'll label that a sit down rebound. 15 seconds for hand on the clock. It's Georgetown. Give us some help from other people. Sugar yet to start. Well, Georgetown has good balance, but Tia McGee is the one I think needs to get going. the shot clock for Georgetown, but they are getting stymied there offensively. Well, they've got to be patient, but they also need to look for their offense. With about 10 seconds left, it shouldn't be, here you take it, here you take it basketball. They should be making a move to score. Whether that's drawing the defense with penetration and kicking out, or drawing the defense by drawing the contact and finishing it alone. Back to Rushdown. Rushdown passes inside, finds a little bit of space. Wheeler. Shot's no good, the rebound's picked up. And Rushdown says, I'm just do this myself. Rebound again from Crawford. Crawford is right there, banging inside. There's Sugar. Sugar, such a potent offensive weapon for the Hoyas. Rutgers AD Tim Pernetti said it's feasible they could name a new coach by Wednesday signing day. Well, that's a quick turnaround because he left on Thursday <laughs> last week, so they want to make it quick, but that top 20 class, they want to keep that intact. Busy, busy day at Rutgers. Georgetown very effective with their 3 2 zone. They're sticking with that, trying to trap in the corners. Tanisha rush down. 10 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Tries to put it inside. It's kicked around a bit. Crossed up and sent back. Sugar Rogers was 0 for 5 before hitting a 3. And there's her second one. Sugar Rogers, if you don't pick her up at half court and pick her up ready to play some defense, she is going to kill you. A 10-0 run by the Hoyas. Last six points came from Sugar Rogers. She reminds me of Jimmer for that. Yeah, coming across half court and just nailing jumpers for range and making it look very easy and smooth. Just the effortless play right here. If you don't pick her up by the line in the Hoyas, she's two feet beyond the line, nailing that shot. She's like, you're not going to play me, I'm going to stick it. Every time. But now she's in a group. Sugar Rogers, you mentioned, leads the Big East to come and scoring. Also in three-pointers made. No surprise there. Three-time Big East player of the week, four-time Big East honor roll. There's a little bit of everything for this team. She said that she's more of a leader this year. Last year, Monica McNutt, the lone senior for the Hoyas, was more of that vocal leader than Tia McGee is stepping up as a leader also for Georgetown. Two points from McGee. She's his team's rebound leader as well. She is two for two today. Yeah, Georgetown had been trailing. They have completely turned this around there. And a baseline shot, no good, and a 12-0 run for the Hoyas. What can Rutgers do to kind of stop that hole? Well, they have been doing a good job of getting the ball inside and getting in the lane. They need to continue to attack it. Okay, you look at this family first environment here at Georgetown. With Terry and, of course, her brother, Lou Williams. Rutgers has missed their last six shots. Spoilers for over five minutes now. Rush it, trying to take it inside, dishes it back out with just a block from behind. Beautiful. And more than going to Georgetown. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Picked out four. Got it all hands. Two seconds. Rush in. Tries to get the shot off. And it's Georgetown's defense that is slowed. Well, it's a battle of wills, and right now Georgetown has imposed their will defensively. Sunday night ESPNU is your home for ACC hoops, and tonight Georgia Tech takes on Harrison Barnes and eighth-ranked North Carolina. ACC Sunday night basketball presented by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups at 6 Eastern.
On the baseline, no good. Rebound grab. A little bit too feisty underneath for Georgetown. But their defense, that 3 2 zone is moving well on the pass. Georgetown, they're here at home. They need this home win. Coach Flanoy employing her team to keep it up. And Amanda Reese gets up the foul there. Thank you. 